let's just take your spouse, for example, if you're married. It's probably if I sat you down and said, what what was it that drew you two together? You might say, well, we had the same interests or we went to the same high school and spent some time together. We had mutual friends, blah, blah, blah. You can run down. We did this and that and this. But there is probably a component where you're just like, there was just something and it's hard to put your finger on. There Maybe there was an energy that you felt, an attraction that you felt. It wasn't just physical. It was just like, an overwhelming urge to be with that person or I can't de- I can't describe it it just works DA we just work well together you know and there are just some things in life that happen that way and there's a house in your neighborhood that you have passed every day or in your hometown for 20 years and you see that house and it's on this block and you pass by this house quite a bit And it's been there forever. And the rest of the houses on the block have a nice lawn and the sun is shining and the birds are chirping. And this one house always has overgrown bushes or the sidewalk's not taken care of or the the windows are always pulled dark or something. You're like, why? Why is that one house just have kind of a bad energy around it? It just it just never looks right. And you would say it's not on a bad street. Look at all the stuff around it. It seems fine. But for that one house, and no matter who lives in that house, whoever buys that house, it's changed ownership. For some reason, that house is always the bad one on the block. Sometimes there's just a rain cloud over certain people's heads and you can't even put your finger on. You're like, wow, that guy always has like a bad stroke of luck. Kevin Wall was joking about this earlier last hour, but some people just keep stubbing their toe and they they bang into walls and, and desks and it just, it can't escape it. And there is something last night, I gotta be honest, where I couldn't even walk away from that game and break it down sensibly. Look, the, the, the Josh Allen stuff is this guy is just a problem fixing his own mistakes. And there is the Zach Wilson thing where he's immature or he's in over his head or whatever. He just doesn't get it. You don't even have to assess it more than that. He just, he just does not get it. But Aaron Rodgers, with this offseason, he went into the darkness retreat. He thought he might retire. He came out and said, no, I still love football. And looky here, there's one team that's willing to give me everything that I want. And the Jets recruited him. The Jets loved him up. The Jets gave him all this attention. And the Jets said, who do you want? Alan Lazard. We'll sign Alan Lazard. Who do you want on offense? Nathaniel Hackett. We're going to bring in Nathaniel Hackett. You want to run the offense this way? We'll run the offense this way. You want to do this? Hey, do you want to do hard knocks? If you don't want to do hard knocks, we can say no. We're going to build it around you. Everything's about you. It's about Aaron Rodgers. And Rodgers has been shiny, happy optimistic he wants to be there multiple years he wants to bring a trophy back to the Jets trophy case he's in fine shape he's 39 years old but I mean he's nimble he's quick he's trying to coach the guys up we saw hard knocks he's trying to make sure the young guys believe he's trying to make sure the coaches feel comfortable he's one of the guys and now we're going to open up the season at MetLife Stadium. They're calling it Jet Life Stadium. The fired up Jet Super Bowl aspirations, Monday Night Football. And four plays in. Rodgers doesn't get like a safety with his helmet torpedoing into his knee. He's not picked up by a linebacker and smashed down to the ground at his shoulder. He doesn't throw a a pass and his finger crashes into a helmet and he breaks his finger. He's kind of taken down from behind a little bit and he gets up 
and it doesn't look like anything's a problem, and then he just rolls down and sits down, and then suddenly the Achilles popped maybe, and he's carted off, and it was four plays, and you go, even for the Jets, this is extreme. Even for the Jets, this is really, really extreme. And there's a part of this that just feels like Is there a bit of a curse? And you can't even put your finger on it, but it just feels like, what are the odds Aaron Rodgers after all of that? And he's in great shape. Last four, had they been four run plays? Had it been three run plays and a bubble screen? Had it been four shotgun snaps? He would have lasted until the second drive. It was that play the way that that play broke down, that maybe the tackle engaged too long or he held on to the football too long and maybe the artificial turf and maybe this and maybe that in it. Like, it's not a high ankle sprain. It's not an ankle sprain. It's an Achilles tear. And we don't know officially, but that's the speculation. Like, how could that happen? How How could it happen? And I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Are there just some things that are destined to end poorly and you can't even describe why? Like, you could say MetLife is is bad juju. The Giants got smashed the other night. But, I mean, the Giants won a Super Bowl playing in that stadium in 2011. I mean, just... It's the site of old Giant Stadium where the Giants won three other Super Bowls. Well, what what is going on with the Jets specifically and everything that the Jets touch just turns to dog diarrhea? How is it possible? I mean, every... Look at Garrett Wilson's catch. It's like one of the five best catches of the season. It's going to be. They win on a walk-off punt. Their defense was really good last night. And yet, all of the dreams of a Super Bowl are dashed before you even got to the couch. It's like, oh, sorry, Aaron Rodgers' season's over. What? Wait, wait, what happened? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I do believe in a certain amount of karma, and I do believe in a universe that that has reasons for everything, and there's, you know, just some things that are inexplicable, and you're not supposed to know everything because there's, Larger powers at play and there's grand universe energies at play and like you were just little human beings and but I mean this one come on even this one what's worst case scenario for the Jets that Roger stinks and they go six and eleven and he bickers with the media and the fans hate him worst case scenario was not tour is Achilles on the first series I mean even that. You couldn't even make that up. 